Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to do a quick desk tour. Um, of course it's super small, so this isn't gonna be long. First off, on the ground, the cords, not organized in any particular way, just some books and notebooks, and then just a few miscellaneous things that I keep in that plastic organizer down there. Some extra picture frames and different wall stuff that I just keep on the side there. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. I did get this desk from Amazon. It was only like a little bit over $100, but I will say it's super flimsy, um, but it gets the job done. So first off, I'll talk about the technology. So the two monitors and the computer, keyboard, the mouse, headphones, all of that was sent by my job and that's what I use to work every single day. I don't mind that it's black because black of course is one of my favorite colors as you can see from my Delphonics pouch but I just have some decorations with T's for my name sorry if you see hair we have a chihuahua and her hair gets everywhere but I think I got this from Hobby Lobby a few years ago and I just use this to hold my drink so that it doesn't mess up this um, I'm pretty sure this is a real wood but whatever this is Again, everything will be linked down below in the description box. What I do like about this desk is that it has outlets up here so I can easily charge my phone when I need to. And then, of course, you can see from my desk, I love acrylic decorations. So I just have this acrylic pen organizer and I have my pens in here. Um, these are pretty simple pens that I have up here. My more specific pens I have in my Delphonics pouch. But of course, I have my Uniball Signo and 307 up here. So of course, all the technology I already showed you. I just have this picture frame back here. This card is from your Everyday Planner. It has a back side, but I just have it on this side because I really like the colors and the gold foiling in it. And then I have this acrylic organizer. The reason why I got this one is because all of the ones that I was seeing were basically just this middle part on Amazon. But I need something that would fit both of my monitors because two monitors takes up a lot of room. So with this one that I brought, you're able to kind of customize it the way that you want to. And I just have both of my monitors up here. And then over here, I just have my acrylic phone stand sorry for all the finger marks i need to wipe it but what i like about this of course it matches all of the other acrylic but it also has that area in the middle where you can plug in your charger now i'll go into the drawers just some notebooks in here this is my very first planner in the a5 size so i just have all that in here just to store it away in this drawer I just have extra markers and highlighters that I don't use, my Ollie clip, um, some washi tape, a card cut, some extra scissors, and over here I just have extra little stickers and planner cards and stuff like that. Of course, some more supplies back there. And then these acrylic organizers, um, again, I'll link everything down below, but I really like these because you can stack them. And then in the last drawer, this is mostly just like a technology drawer. So my Beats, um, my Instasax camera, JBL speaker, just anything that's smaller and techy I have in this drawer. And lastly, my Delphonics pouch. I have a, I have a reel on my Instagram showing what I keep in here. I have changed it a little bit since then. So I'll just go through this real quick. All of my Tombos, I just have pins, my, what are these called? I can't think of the name right now. Um, and then these are my favorite pins. These are the Uniball ones. And then inside, I just have my, my Hobonichi Weeks, my, um, my Kenbor Weekly, my stickers. I don't really have a great sticker organization right now. I just have them clipped together sticky notes, Bible highlighters, and then in the back, I just keep extra pen refills. So, and I usually, since there's not a lot of room up at the top, 
I just put this down here every night before bed after I'm done planning. So that is my desk. So today I wanted to test out these stamps with you. I've never used stamps before, not even in my planner. So I just wanted to try these out because the Tomoe River paper can be tricky. Um, I did buy another Hobonichi Weeks for 2023. I got the milk tea. Still unsure what else I'm going to buy for my 2023 lineup. Um, I usually don't have a lot of planners or notebooks that I use anyway. So I will definitely have a video showing you the things that I got for 2023 once I accumulated a couple of things. But for right now, I wanted to show you guys me testing out these stamps on the Tomoe River paper. And then I picked up this Distressed ink. Um, the reason why I picked this specific one is because it's archival ink. So it's supposed to be um, acid-free, permanent, and waterproof. So I thought... Maybe that will work better in the Tamoy River paper than getting some of the other ones. So let's go ahead and get started. So the reason why I picked these stamps in specific is that I really like the wooden ones. I like the aesthetic, aesthetic of them, but these ones clip together. So I don't have to literally stamp every single word that I want to stamp. I can just clip them together and stamp one word all at once. This is the clickable stamp set from Recollections and this was about, I forgot how much this was, but it was 50% off at Michael's. Oh, interesting. So I guess you just click them together. So I think I'm just going to do hello. I just wanted to say good morning and I wanted to call you before you had to go to work but I love you so much and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. First time I met you Didn't have a clue what you So there we go. I have hello all clicked together. So I think I'm going to use black suit. Uh, we also have Ground Espresso, Hickory Smoke, and Vintage Photo, but I think just for video purposes, I'm just going to go with the black color. I'm gonna try it like one by one. That one's perfect. So now I'm gonna let this ink sit a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna smear this one and then let the top one sit a little bit more just to see. Oh wow. So I didn't even have to let that sit. So that works perfectly. I was not expecting that. Oh wow. So yeah. Again, if you want to try this out, it's at Michael's. Pretty inexpensive, distress archival ink. So one of the things that I do notice about the these clickable stamps is. They don't stay together too well. I've been having to like pick them up off the ground because they keep just coming apart. Like they don't stay together well. But I will say like for what it's meant for to keep it all in one word, like it works very well. And again, I really like this ink. This is the first stamp that I've ever used, first ink. And I'm having a great experience with it. So that was Ground Espresso. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two colors. So true. So that is all the colors stamped out, you guys. These look really pretty. I would say my favorite two would have to be the Hickory Smoke and then the Ground Espresso. I really like those two. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using 
Uh, good thing I turned the page. Okay, I did not realize that, y'all. So it completely bleeds through. Um, I did have it stamped on there long, so I wonder if I don't have it, if I don't have it sitting on the paper, that long will it do that. Again, if you have any um, ink recommendations, just let me know in the comments down below that won't bleed through the Tamoe River paper. Um, but dang, that's kind of sad. I guess I got to get another ink that's not going to bleed through. That's the thing about Tamoe River paper is uh, you can't just use anything on it. So I'm not going to hold the stamp down that long. Let's see if that bled through. Yeah, that still bled through. Dang. I really hope that was going to work. I will say this ink, it says archival. I definitely feel like it is. It's not buddy at all. It's not smearing at all. But again, it does bleed through Tamoe River paper. So this was a fail, you guys. Um, it was nice to try it out. I now have my first stamp set. And this will be super easy to use because I can just create any word that I want. Um, if I do end up using these inks, it'll probably be in just a regular plain notebook that doesn't have any type of special paper that's gonna bleed through or anything. So yep, you guys, I hope you liked this video. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ink recommendations for stamps, let me know down below in the comment box.